Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we are doing all of the braids from the Black Widow movie. Let's go! Hi guys, I know it's been a minute. We'll talk about why later. We don't need to get into it because right now, guess what? We're braiding. I am so thrilled that this movie is full of so many beautiful braids and clearly you guys were as well because I was getting requests from every direction and so we are going to be doing all of Natasha's hairstyles from the movie as well as Yelena's braided updo because I couldn't not do that one. It's too pretty. I'm also going to show you how to get the curls. We're just going to have a grand old time and while we do that I want you to know that I'm going to be doing this on my normal hair because I have a feeling a lot of you will be doing the hairstyles on your normal hair not a wig but I will show you the afters on the wig so you can get the full effect. And then also for a few hairstyles, we're going to have an accurate version and an easy version because there were just a couple where if you made like two changes, it would be an actually easy five minute hairstyle, but I could not give up the accuracy for the hair nerds, the cosplayers, the Marvel enthusiasts. We need the true accurate version of how the hairstyle was done. And so I'm going to give that to you first and then I'll give you some little modifications to wear day to day if you want. Oof. So we have a whole, whole lot to do. I hope you guys enjoy it. Drop your favorite hairstyle in the comments below and let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start out with the curls because there are a few hairstyles that utilize them. So I figure let's just get it out of the way. We're gonna do it real fast though because I know you wanna get to the braids. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself this little Natasha side part over here. And then you're gonna go in sections and every single curl is exactly the same. So I'm just gonna show you a couple. So I think the most accurate way to get the look that she has is to take a curling iron with a clip and wrap your hair away from your face like you're wrapping it around a wand and then close the clamp. Let it heat up and let it out and then don't touch it until it's all the way cool. If you only have a curling wand, you would just take it and wrap around as you usually would. Letting it twist as you wrap around. Letting it twist basically means that uh, your fingers don't let go of the hair at all. All right, so you let that go and you can see it's more of a curly wave. So you have that really intense ridge but it's also very springy. Depending on the scene, it looks like it could either be a one inch or a one and a quarter inch. So I'm gonna leave it up to your personal preference. This is what it looks like with the one inch. If you want it bigger, go with the one and a quarter inch. And that is the method for the whole thing. Really, you just keep curling all the hair away from your face by wrapping it around the curling iron. So do that in sections and meet me back here. And now that they're all done, you're going to break them up. Now I'm just brushing through to get them smooth. For Natasha, when things were chill, these were like all nice and kind of like wavy together. And when she was battling, they were a little bit more broken up. <laughs> I'm gonna add in some texturizing spray. I am using the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, the classic, the legend. But if you want a drugstore option, the Kristen S Texturizing Spray, a great option as well. And we're just gonna go in at the root and then a little bit through the middle. This is because I'm assuming you're getting ready to do a braid on it. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit more texture for you to be able to work with while you're braiding and just a little more volume as well. And those are the waves that Natasha wears in her hair. You can see it on the long hair wig as well. Having the extra length definitely helps you to see the full vision, uh, but generally that's what we're starting with. So now that I have showed you the curls, let's get to braiding. <laughs> Okay, now to Natasha's Dutch braid. This one is actually fairly easy. Uh, there are not gonna be two versions for this one, but I am gonna show you how to make it specific to Black Widow. To do that first, we need our puff. So just take your section to your liking, kind of cut out the back a little bit. Forward, back comb, and brush it back. Now this bump is going to sit just a little bit forward of your high ponytail area. So if you think about where you would put your high ponytail, just go like an inch in front of that right here. Now from the best that I can tell, this wasn't secured into an elastic, it was twisted. So that's what I'm gonna do, but you could use an elastic if that's easier for you. So I'm just gonna take this section and twist it. Make sure that this stays even, even though it's twisted. Gonna pin up and into that twist, going right up the middle. Alrighty, so now that we have this guy, everything else goes as you think it would. We're going to take the hair from either side in the back. So one and two, and then the hair that we twisted. And these are our three sections. So you're just going to be braiding under, 
and then adding in more hair as you go. You also wanna make sure when you're doing this that there's no you know, crazy bumps being formed while you're braiding in, so just take a little look-see at them, make sure they're going back nicely. But then you're just going to be sweeping from your hairline all the way back to the braid, put it with the section, braid it under. Once you've braided all the hair, you can braid the rest normally. Look, I have a little tiny braid, guys. <laughs> Secure it with an elastic. This one was kind of surprisingly pulled apart, so we're gonna replicate that. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tricks, though. You're gonna take bobby pins and pin them up through the braid against the head so you don't see them. Like, they're not on top. You're, like, nestling them into the braid and pinning, and then you pull apart, and these keep the hair from, like, falling back into place and getting limp again. It keeps it, like, out and flared a little bit more. This one is wearer's choice, but she did have pieces out around her face for this one. You guys know I'm opting in on that. I just want these to be a little bit more curled, so I'm gonna pop some curls in there. And, of course, it wouldn't be a Kaylee Melissa video if I wasn't powdering my scalp at some point. Do you need to do this? Nope. Is it a uh, personal compulsion? Yes. I love this really simple superhero moment. A Dutch braid is perfect for fighting crime because it's gonna stay out of your face. And it's also a nice way to mix up the Dutch braid if you like wearing them and you just want like a little something different to do with it. And now it's time for Yelena's braided updo. Hands up in the comments if you came here specifically for this hairstyle. Because at least for me, it was my favorite. <laughs> now I want to acknowledge I have already done all of Natasha's hairstyles and slept, so this is second day hair. You can do this hairstyle on anything, you just need texture. All right, so first let's do the accurate version. The start to the accurate version sounds so intense. It's not actually that difficult, but if you're scared of it, stick around for the easy version because it is really easy and it still looks just as good. Okay, this hairstyle has been keeping me up because in some scenes, it's pulled back fairly easily and it's not a big deal. It's the easy version. And then there's this scene where she's at dinner, she looks down and she has just this beautifully woven back. And I feel like you guys are going to want to know how to do that. So you're gonna start with a diagonal part over your left eye. And this is just gonna go back about two to three inches. And then the rest of your hair gets split in half down the middle. Here we go, and I'm gonna clip the right side out of the way. First thing I'm gonna do is entirely optional, but my hair isn't quite long enough to do this hairstyle accurately. So I'm gonna put in some extensions. All right, so now I have a little extra hair. It's not too much, it just takes me the extra couple inches I needed. Now, for that really beautiful woven looking top, Let's talk about it. To create this little look, we're going to be doing three twists on top of the head. So you're gonna take little tiny sections and twist them until you have three. Okay, now that you have three little antenna, you're going to bring these together and twist them together. Loosening this twist just a little bit so it's easier to pin. You're gonna lay it, push it, and you've got your little twist backs. Now I'm going to clip this in place so that I have two hands to bobby pin with. I'm just gonna pin up and into the twist. All right, and then you can take this out. But now to braid, we're going to be picking up the hair right around this twist. So basically everything that's underneath it, pick that up, split it in three, and we've got our pieces to braid. I'm gonna start by braiding under, and I'm gonna start with the back. And then when you bring in pieces from the back, you're going to go from the part to the braid, keeping it sleek, like you're doing a workout braid, like it's gotta stay up. And then on the front, you're going to be taking little pieces from the hairline and taking them back. That creates that really piecey look. We're going to take a little piece and you're going to put it with your braiding section and braid it under. If you want bonus points for the first piece or two, you can twist it just a little bit and then pull it back. Just going to give you a little bit more texture. Then on the back, we keep it sleek. On the front, we take pieces. And once you have everything over the ear in the braid, you can switch to doing the slick back for both sides. And again, we're going straight back in line with the part. So fight gravity a little bit for this spot. Once you get past this little zone, it gets easier. And the only other thing I need to say about this braid is that you want to bring in as small of pieces as possible so that you have a lot of stitches of braid. Any hair nerds wanna try it, leave me in the comments um, how many little links you got on one side. And then once you have everything in your braid, you can braid normally the rest of the way down. Once you get as far as you wanna go, um, I'm leaving a couple inches out for tendrils. You can secure it. You can do a bobby pin or an elastic. And then we're just gonna fluff this apart a little bit. 
not a ton, but her braid was really texturized. So if you leave it like really smooth, you just don't get the whole effect. Ignore these guys, we'll fix it when it gets to the updo portion. And that is it for that side. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, mostly. First, we place the extensions. So then for the front, it's a lot easier than this side because we don't have to do the little twisties. For your braiding section, you're just going to go next to your part, but leave the hairline alone. Split it into three, get yourself started. I start on the back again, so I have a little bit more braiding done before I get to the front. And then for this piece, we are taking a little piece from the hairline. We are twisting it and putting it with our section, pulling it back. I'm gonna pull it back tight braid the back, and then on the front, we're just going to pull this forward to loosen it up, help it to match the other pieces, and there you go. You have a nice little twist that kind of matches the texture, keeps it going. You can do that again one more time if you want, but you definitely don't have to. We can just switch to taking up the small pieces and pulling them back, and braiding the back down nice and smooth like we did on the other side. And now we're switching to keeping everything nice and sleek and tight. And now we're just braiding the rest normally. Secure with an elastic, fluff, and you're ready for the updo part. And when you look down, you can see there's the pretty little twist. You don't see a part line from the front and everything is going back with a tiny bit of volume around the face. We've done it. Now let's do the back. It's actually annoyingly easy, but it looks so cool. And what you're gonna do to start the updo is take both ends and tie them in a half knot like you're about to tie your shoe. Yep, I am not kidding. And then you're just gonna go ahead and pin that in place and then we're gonna work with the ends. Okay, cool. So right now we're looking the best. What we're gonna do is wrap what's left around and make sure that we leave the little ends hanging out. That was one of my favorite parts of the hairstyle was when she would have these little tendrils out so I'm gonna do that. But if you don't want tendrils out, you just tuck them underneath all the braids and pin them there. And before we keep going to the other side, I told you I was gonna deal with these flyaways with the updo, and I am. I'm just going to grab each one and bobby pin it around as if it was still flowing with the braid. This last one, I have played around a little bit. Uh, depending on the length, you can either kind of pull it around the side and pin it, but I have a little extra right here. So I'm going to flip it over and make a little loop and pin that in place. And there you go, that is the accurate version of Yelena's updo. Okay, that was the more advanced version. Let's talk about the easy version and one that we can just do on the go, slight modifications to your normal style that make it look that much better. First things first, we're gonna part the hair down the middle all the way and clip one half out of the way. Now, to keep this easier, we are going to take a triangle up here at the top, and one, and two, and three, triangle. Split it into three. If you wanna be a little extra, you can twist each section, and we're gonna start braiding under from the back. And you're going to actually make sure the braid is starting a few inches back here, and then start braiding in here. Again, from the back, we're gonna keep it nice and sleek, and then from the front, we're still just gonna pick up small pieces of hair, but we're not doing all the twisting this time. You're still gonna get that PC look in the braid without the extra work. Once you've braided everything in, you braid the rest normally and secure with an elastic. Now I'm gonna fluff this to make it look a little bigger. And we've got a little bit of looseness here, so we're gonna use that to our advantage. We're going to pull forward these twists that we made at the beginning and pulling them back with some tension really helps them to now pop out more. So you have that lift up at the front if you want it. You can also pull on these individual little ones to give some more definition. And if one loosened up that you didn't want to, you can always pin it back up. And now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. And now we fluff. 
So those are the braids and from the front we still have this lift without like a really harsh part here. So even if you don't like a middle part on yourself, it's not as middle part E. But you could always do the diagonal part and this exact method and you would have that like invisible slash not at all middle part. Now on my hair length, the half knot version still works. It's just very, very tight. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what to do if you can't do the half knot at all. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is take my braid on the right side and I'm going to sweep it around and wrap it over top of the left braid and pin it in place, leaving the ends out. Obviously, you can pin those in if you want to. And then for the second braid, you're basically just going to wrap it around the bottom and tuck it in, leaving the ends out. Or, you wanna be just a little fancier, pull out one loop of this right braid and pull the braid through it, then pin it in place. And there you go, that is the easy plus short hair version. Obviously, if your hair is longer, you would do the half tie and tuck thing. That's not the hard part of the other version. But that's it. I feel like this one is going into my rotation. I love this. I love Yelena. I am just so here for everything that is her presence in the film. Now I have no idea which is going to be the favorite hairstyle from this video, but I'm wondering if it's gonna be this one. So, you know, it's Natasha. Let's just go ahead and do this number again. We're just doing the tiniest bit here because we need to braid this hair. And uh, if you really knot it down, that's going to make it really annoying. Just a, a really light tease. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is section the hair for the top of both braids. So I'm just gonna pick up a section that goes parallel to the part, just about two inches over. Boom. For my extra friends out there, we're gonna split each one of these into two, and you're just going to swap these two middle pieces and clip this back, and we're gonna braid with these. You're gonna pick up one more piece of hair, and there's our three pieces for braiding. Now we're gonna braid over, making sure to take it back from the hairline about three inches. And now that we're back on the hairline side, we're going to pick up some more hair, put it with your section, and braid it over. On the back side, braid it normally. On the front, Take a section and braid it over. This is called a lace braid. And you're gonna do it one more time. So you're gonna do three in total and that should get you to about the height of your eyebrow. Once you've done that, you're going to braid it normally the rest of the way down. Now my hair is not as long as Natasha's, nor do I have as thick of hair around my face as she does. So the braid's a little bit smaller, but still, you get the idea. I'm gonna secure it with an elastic and then to fake having a little bit more hair here and to help hide those flyaways, I'm just gonna fluff the braid. And then for the French braided portions, you're just gonna look for the links of the braid, not the hair that you took in, but like the part that got braided over and pull that out. All right, there's braid number one. My tip, if you just don't have enough hair here for the size of braid that you want ever, is just to take a one clip extension left and clip it at the base of your hair. It gives you so much more hair. You can use it to give yourself a subtle highlight if you pick something just a shade lighter than your hair. I don't know if you can buy just the single clips, but you can DIY them. You can use ones from your set. If you guys wanna know how to DIY them, let me know. I did a video a very long time ago, but I could do another one. I'm gonna get my three sections. I'm just gonna pop it under that third section because that's gonna be the easiest place to hide it. And I'm just gonna distribute that hair to these front two pieces because they're the most sparse. And then I'm gonna do the hairstyle again, but with some more hair. And there you go, it's not a ton bigger, but it is more full and just a little bit filled out. Okay, for the second braid, we have our two pieces that we clipped back here, or you're gonna pick up a chunk of hair right here and split it into, whichever one's easier for you. Grab that third section, so that's gonna be kind of right between slash under these two, and you're gonna start braiding under. So the first one was kind of a French lace braid, this one's gonna be a Dutch lace braid. So you're braiding under this time, and then you're gonna be picking up hair that's directly underneath the braid. So my braid is right here, I'm just gonna look right here on my scalp, pick up some hair, put it in my section, braid it under. Braid normally, grab some hair right from my scalp, put it in the section, braid it normally. And you're gonna keep doing this for a little while with this one actually. We're gonna anchor this braid down really well doing this. So it's very uh, battle ready. It's a prerequisite for all my hairstyles. So you keep doing that little Dutch lace braid until you are even with the hair that you stop taking in on the front piece. And then you're gonna pick up all the hair that's left over the ear, take that back, 
and braid it in. Braid under and continue just braiding normally for the rest of the hair. Why did they do it that way? I'm not sure, but that is how it was done for the movie. And just to make sure that everything is as it should be, I'm going to push this front braid back until it is definitely touching the second braid and I'm going to pin that down. And to do that, I am taking part of this braid in the front and I'm going to pin back so the bobby pin makes kind of an angle right here between the first and second braid. Okay, and then I'm just noticing that I lost some volume here, so I'm gonna do a little fluff with the comb. I want this to look a little bit piecier, so I'm going to scrunch some hairspray in. And here is the finished result. You've got the braids on my medium hair. I think it still looks great, but let's look at it on the long hair. I mean, it just hits. I love this hairstyle. I feel like it's one of the signature hairstyles of the film. I also think it's great for real life. I mean, maybe change the texture up and then wear this with a bikini on the beach. I'm just saying, it would be so cute. And then you could take all the hair that's down whenever you know it gets too windy or too hot, put it in a ponytail, then wrap the braids around the ponytail, tuck them into the elastic, you have a whole extra hairstyle. Basically, I'm a fan. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's keep moving. Okay, took that down. Now we've got the uh, crimps in, but let's talk about the easy version. So instead of doing the whole like four sections thing, you're just gonna start with your section for your first braid, which is gonna be three to four inches back, two inches down, boom, split it into three. Then we're gonna do the French lace braid. I can't save you from that one, that's the braid. <laughs> but instead of stopping this, we're just gonna keep going until all the hair over the ear is incorporated. So just adding in hair from the front, braiding the back normally. And finish off with a normal braid. Pull the braid apart just a little bit. Pull at the links. Then you grab your second chunk, split it into three, and braid under. And pick up a little bit of hair as you go, just to help anchor it into place and fill out the braid. If you don't wanna do that, you could just braid this normally and then bobby pin it down. That is an entirely suitable option for here, especially if you can only do a French braid and not a Dutch braid. And you just go until you get to the top of the ear because you're gonna run out of hair there, and then braid the rest normally. We are going to fluff. All right, then we do the same thing where we pull this one back to meet its sister and bobby pin it. There you go, that's the easy version. It looks almost exactly the same, so feel free to use it. But you know I have to do the original one too because I'm a hair nerd and I got her up for the cosplayers, even though I don't cosplay. But that would be really fun. All right, and now we are on to the final hairstyle in the film. I think another signature hairstyle. I am just gonna be doing it on the wig because this length of hair, the little braids would just be sticking out and looking funny. And unfortunately, I think this one is a long hair hairstyle. So cut to the wig. Hello. Okay, let's do this ponytail. Before we get into this, I just need to note that um, hairstyles that are pulled back from the face are really hard to do on wigs because uh, you don't want to accidentally you know, disturb the set here. And this wig, the hairline's just not the best. So I did my best today, please don't judge me. So the very first thing we're gonna do is grab our sections for the six braids that are on top and around the ponytail. You are gonna start by taking a two inch sliver of hair just above your eyebrow. So two inches, put them next to your eyebrow, slide them back to just behind your ear, close those fingers together, and that is your section. We're gonna ignore how big the hair is. <laughs> now, I'm going to be using wave clips for this or duckbill clips. I'm gonna use this to just hold this section of hair right now. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Two inches with your fingers, line the bottom up with your eyebrow, go back until you're behind your ear, close those fingers together, pull it forward, that's your section. It doesn't have to be super precise, but generally it's just that little sliver. Another duck bill clip. And then our final two sections we need to grab are for the little neck braids. So we're just gonna go at the nape of the neck here and secure that. And same thing on the other side. Okay, so now we've pulled out all of our sections and everything else is just gonna go back into a ponytail. So I'm just gonna grab all of this. You want to brush the top straight back. She does not have a bump in this hairstyle, so we're just gonna 
flatten her out. And then everything else gets brushed right back into this mid-height ponytail. So it's not quite Colonial or Ariana, it's like right in the middle. And once everything is together, you're gonna secure it with an elastic. All right, so now we have the ponytail in and we just have our pieces that have been left out. Let's just go ahead and tackle these guys and get these four done. So you're gonna start on whichever side you want and sweep it back so that it flows with the rest of the hairstyle. And the braid starts like a couple inches before the ponytail. So a couple inches out from before your hair reaches the ponytail, you're gonna repurpose your little clip and clip the hair in place here. And this is really handy because it gets the hair flowing back the way that it should, but it lets your arms rest down here so you don't have to braid up back here. So from here, we just needed to make two braids. So you're gonna split the section in half and then split this into three and braid it normally. Once you reach the end, secure it with an elastic. And now we're going to braid the second half of that section. And same thing on the other side. So you're gonna take your clip out, sweep it back, split it in half and braid both halves. We can take these clips down. Now we just have to do these two little braids right here. Three strand braid these. These are pretty easy because you're just doing them forward over your shoulder, which I think comes naturally to most of us. And final braid, here we go. Okay, so now we have six braids done all together. It's just time to arrange them and we'll be done. You'll start with the braids on your left. They're going to sweep back and over the hair elastic and get pinned in place. I like to just stick a bobby pin straight through the middle of each braid and into the top of the ponytail. It's not visible and it's very quick and easy. And then same thing on the other side, just crossing over top of the braids we just placed. And here is this braided ponytail moment. I can't stop playing with these. Honestly, this is a surprising favorite of mine. It feels really cool. It's partially because this wig has just so much hair. So my ponytail is better than it ever looks. I feel that it's actually kind of wearable if you get rid of the rat tail ponytails, maybe wrap them around the base of the ponytail and then you have this whole braided thing. I'm just saying. And guys, that is all the braids for today. If you've made it this far, leave me a little emoji in the comments to let me know. Let's say this one, just to let me know that you got all the way through. I hope that you guys enjoyed all the braids in this video. I really enjoyed getting to go back to my roots and doing some character hairstyles. So I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. If you did, please hit that like button to help support my channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. Click the subscribe button to join the Braidaholic family here on Kaylee and Melissa. We do all things hair, from care and science to styling and character. And of course, all y'all can hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. But that's it for today. Whether you're old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. This feels really weird to be doing this again. It's been like two months, guys. <laughs> Shake out the nerves. I got a tan at the beach. Is my face lighter than my arms now? Oh no. Should have had more coffee or less. I'm not sure.